Glutamine, fermented versus unfermented. What are the differences? What are the similarities? Uh, what is glutamine in general? It's an amino acid, and it's tasteless, odorless, and it's basically just white powder. You can mix it into any drink that you have, and the only thing that you're going to notice is that the drink becomes slightly more grainy, just depending on what kind of drink it is. What does it do? So the purpose of it is to synthesize protein, and what that means is that it aids in protein being absorbed into your muscle. It helps you to recover after a workout. And the faster you recover, the more you can work, which means you get more gains. There's other uh, amino acids, 20 others actually, that can produce this protein synthesis, but we're going to be focusing on the glutamine. So natural sources of glutamine come from food like beef, chicken, fish, dairy products, eggs. You got vegetables like beans, beets, wheat, Brussels sprouts, kale, and uh, those kind of things. So glutamine is extracted from these food sources, and then it is stored as powder. So when do you take glutamine? Uh, most people consume glutamine with creatine and with protein, like before or after a workout. Uh, so let's get into the fermentation. What is fermentation? It is the aging process inside of food. So like grape juice, for example, when stored and it aged for a while, that grape juice slowly turns into alcohol, making a wine. Uh, kimchi, for example, you got vegetables and you put vinegar inside a jar, close it up, let it age for a while, it ferments. And people believe that this fermentation helps in gut health, uh, liver health, those kind of things. So what is fermented glutamine? Fermented glutamine is fermented food, and then the fermented food is extracted, or the glutamine is extracted out of that fermented food, and you get... Uh, fermented glutamine. So uh, online there is one fermented glutamine source that I found and it describes itself saying it's sourced from beets that are fermented with probiotic cultures. So the cheaper variety of glutamine powders tend to be made from wheat or, sh or shellfish and it's harder to digest and that could be one of the reasons that you choose fermented glutamine over unfermented glutamine, just the digestion in there. Uh, fermented could be easier to digest, but then again, if you're trying to stay away from fermented things, then you would go to the unfermented glutamine.